Well, <laughs> I'm just inserting from the future here. There are three new lip products. One is the matte, which is what I got. One is the shine, and then there's these. I'm not sure what they're called because the print is so small. There are 12 colors in the matte formula and eight colors in the shine formula. Let's continue on with the rest of the video. Clay de Poe came out with some new lip products and I bought five of them. So let's get into it. There were two that are kind of lovely, sparkling, juiciness. I wasn't sure which one I would want, so I got two. This is kind of a rosy, this is kind of an opal. This is the beautiful packaging, I'm sorry, it is stunning. And this is 303, that's the one that's a little bit more rosy. And let's just put it on the lips. So it kind of darkens up my lip just a little bit when I'm looking in this mirror. When I'm looking in this mirror, it's pretty close to my lip tone, darkening a little bit. These are so insanely comfortable. If you've never been here before, hi, I'm Kiki. I'm 60 years old and I have a thing about lip glosses. I really don't like them. I think they are heavy and goopy and sticky and they make me feel like my lips are being dried. This does not do that. I got these yesterday, so I've been playing with all of the colors, but this has such a beautiful feeling. So one of my very favorite formulas, so comfortable and nourishing and offers some good color is from Viseart. About six months, maybe a year after theirs, Tower 28 came out. And people talk about Tower 28 more than they do Viseart's, so that's why I'm mentioning them. But those feel actually nourishing on the lips. And of course, there's the Westman Atelier, which I have out here somewhere. But that one is very nourishing, very comfortable, but I don't think of that as color. It's more like just a little something on your lips, a little something something that is very comfortable. This doesn't feel like that, but it's as comfortable as that. It's as comfortable as the Tower 28. It's as comfortable as the Viseart. In fact, it, if the Westman Atelier and the Tower 28 married and had a little baby, this is what it would feel like. And this is 303, which is more of the slightly pinky one. Now this is 301 Sweet Nectar. I could actually read the name of this one. A little bit more of an opalescence, and it's right here. I hope that I am showing you what you need to see. Uh -huh. And this I also love. Now with everything I take off, my lips are going to look more and more deep in color, but I tried to take all the sparkles off. I think I may have succeeded. I love this one. I love this one. In the new matte formula, I got three shades. I got something neutral, something a reddish, and something pinkish. So let's put these on. The first one I'm going to do is Chocolate Cosmos. If you're a gardener, you know that there is such a thing. And they're a delight because they actually smell like chocolate. And there it is there. When I tried this on yesterday, it was a little bit later. The sun was no longer out. And I thought this was a mauve and that it might be a dupe for this color. So let's take a look because this is from Yves Saint Laurent and it has this excellent wand applicator where you can really line everything. But I've had this since it came out and it's time to go. I'm doing clean out. So there's the YSL in shade number seven, and I would say no, this one is much darker. Now the YSL has a lot of alcohol in it. It is a typical, well, yeah, I would say it's a typical, but more comfortable liquid lip, where these are moussey lips. The doe foot, you can line with the tip really, really nicely and apply, you know, either way, this way, that way, whatever way makes you happy. So I do have their previous matte formulas and I would say that this feels a little bit lighter and it remains moussey until, well, I'm someone who always does this if I feel the weight of something on my lips. 
So after about 10 minutes or so, that moussey nature calms down a little bit. It's still there, but the color remains. It will stain your lips very nicely again. It's not saying that it's one of those things that is budge proof. I'm not saying that, certainly. But I find, for instance, I was doing the brighter colors yesterday, and the color, the pigmentation, would stay on your lips. It didn't have a weird fade unless you are drinking coffee that has cream in it or eating something oily, then it will break everything down. But it's the kind of thing you can kind of put on and not worry about, I have to check my lips all the time to make sure that they're still on my face. It will give you a little bit of a stain. And I, I don't know, I think this is a nice little neutral color. Kind of, even though they call it Chocolate Cosmo, it's like a, I would say it's a chocolate um, rosewood. It's a rosewood that has a little bit of brown in it, but it's not necessarily a warm brown or a cool brown. I'd say overall, this color, to me, neutral, not really warm, neutral leaning cool. I don't know if you can see, just taking that off, I still feel like I have a teeny bit on. 117 Flamingo Flower, right there. To me, I I'm not sure, is it a red or is it an orange red? Is it an orange with red? But I think you know where I'm going with it. This is, to me, a fantastic summer red because it, it it's on the razor's edge of being orange <laughs> or red. And red can sometimes feel a little bit formal. I don't think this has a formal feel to it at all. For spring and summer, I think this is a lovely way to go with red. And as I said, with a neutral color, this kind of stains the lips so when that comfortable moosiness disappears, the color is still there. Now this is 112. There's three words. The first one I can't read, but I think peach delight are the second words. I will put everything down below you guys. But looks like here and looks like here. To me, they are calling this peach, but I think of it as a little bit coral because Sometimes you'll see a pink, and sometimes you'll see a peach. It's a super delightful, it is delight. They call it peach delight, it is. Lovely, fun color. And when I put it on yesterday, I thought, oh, this is a little bit too acid. It is a little bit too bright. Interestingly enough, what happens with this, with me anyway, is it kind of calms down. Maybe after that, moosiness comes down a little bit, so does that vibrancy, and it ends up looking really pretty. I am using a pencil that is not a match at all, but I feel like I need a little something. Now, I think I could do this with a better color, but it is such a pretty spring fresh color. I feel like I'm not showing it to its best because my lips are hard. My lips are hard, you guys. Now. I took a look at something that I have, and this is called Bird of Paradise. This is their previous packaging, and this one is not matte. This is a gloss, and I just wanted to see how similar they are. This one to me is much more orange than this one. So it's, it's just right smack in the middle, and now I just want to dab this a little bit so you can get a sense of what it'll look like when that electric quality goes away. Now it looks a little bit more peach. Am I crazy? Anyway, you guys, I saw these coming up. I talked about them in my video, Will I Buy It? And I just, look, I'm a sucker for your marketing pictures. If you have beautiful marketing pictures, I'm, I'm halfway home. And they had really, really pretty ones. I did my best selecting some of these mats that might hit somebody's happy spot, whether you want a neutral, a pink, or a red-orange, they have them. I really like them. I think the biggest surprise for me are these. I really, really, really love this. And this, to me, is the kind of thing that just gives your lip a little bit of something probably more visible in sunlight than indoors. Although, if you look really closely, I could see it on. But it feels so comfortable and nourishing. I feel like Wearing this, I get 
a little bit of nourishment, a little bit of color, a little bit of something special. And on days when I'm not doing a lot of makeup, like today for instance, it's just foundation, concealer, blush and bronzer, nothing on my eyes, then I might want to do something like this. But I also love doing a look like this and using a powerful color as well. And I just wanted to show you these and talk about the formulas and I think they are a delight. You guys, thanks so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart and I'm wishing you good health.